Welcome or welcome back to Museum Grack Reads. My name is Elizabeth and today we are going to make an August spread for my reading journal that is as short and sweet as a well-preserved pie. That's right, I am so obsessed with the Fallout TV show that it has inspired my entire setup for August. I am starting off with my title page that's going to give the dichotomy of my two favorite characters, Lucy the Vault Dweller and the Ghoul, AKA Cooper Howard. So I actually found this particular paper set um, and I wanted to use this paper because it reminded me of the very specific fish themed wallpaper that existed in Chet and Stephanie's unit in the vault. So I wanted to give a little bit of her background and what she is leaving to join into the wasteland fray with all of the 1950s atomic era nostalgia and at the same time focus in on everything that the ghoul has endured with his side of the page. So a little bit of both worlds represented as best I could with the supplies available to me. So this paper pack um, and several of the stickers that I am going to be using are coming from Amazon and I have those linked in the description below. I also got these amazing stickers from an artist on Redbubble that focus on both Lucy as she is venturing out of the vault and the ghoul in the wasteland. They were so gorgeous. It's the thing that really drew me to creating the title page as I have, and I've linked this artist's stickers down below as well. I still wanted to make sure that there was a little bit of rough on Lucy's side of the page because she transforms so much the moment she steps out of that vault door and into the wasteland landscape. So I got this gorgeous aged paper also from Amazon. And as you can see, it didn't like my glue tape. I also don't tend to love glue tape. I tend to break glue tape dispensers really easily but every so often i decide it's time to try again and now it's time to move into the ghoul's side of the page i was so drawn to walton goggins in this role i find him to be such a magnetic actor i can't look away usually when he's on screen but there was something about this irradiated post-human form of his that had extra amounts of swagger and i can't stop thinking about him but if you're not familiar with the Fallout franchise, Ghouls, or the TV show, let me give you a little synopsis. So this is a franchise of video games that has been going on since the late 90s. It is a post-apocalyptic world where we have been locked in a resource war with other major world powers. And ultimately that led to the world being obliterated by nuclear warfare. The original Fallout game, like I said, came out in the 90s, but there have been so many versions since, including Fallouts 1 through 4, New Vegas, the list goes on, and each one builds upon the lore of the video games themselves. And so does the TV show in such a beautiful way. I am not a video game girly, but every man I have ever dated who loves to play video games has played a version of Fallout. Gamer boys and reader girls go together like peanut butter and jelly. So while reading while boyfriends of yesteryear have played Fallout, I really enjoyed the world building and lore. And boy howdy did this show deliver not just in terms of building upon the lore and making it such an immersive experience of being in this world that so many have been drawn to over the years, but also it made it feel like you were playing as different types of players through the lenses of your three main characters. 
With your new players like Lucy, who are just exiting the vault for the first time, your slightly morally corrupt but wise and rugged ghoul, who's been in the wasteland for over 200 years and knows his way around, and even the righteous do-gooder that you see in Max, um, who is not pictured anywhere in any of these spreads because that is not the type of gameplay that I am drawn to. As you can see, I am now playing around with color blocking for the August title on this title page for my reading journal. I really wanted to keep it still feeling in that mid-century atomic vibe and hearkening back to the vault tech colors of the Fallout franchise of blue and yellow. And with a few finishing touches of coffee stain stickers from Unlikely Friends over on Etsy, the title page is done and we are going to move into our books read and pages read spreads for the month. So before the bombs dropped in this alternate reality America, there was an alternate version of Coca-Cola called Nuka-Cola. And even after a nuclear fallout, Nuka-Cola is still an integral part of the culture because Nuka-Cola caps are currency in the wasteland. So I knew I wanted to include Nuka-Cola in some way in my spreads. So I found this really awesome vintage advertising washi tape and some Nuka-Cola stickers from a Fallout multi-pack of stickers and pulled them all together to create my pages red chart. I'm also changing things up a little bit because I didn't want to have a full two-page spread for my calendar to track how I'm reading across dates, nor did I have room in my cover page. So I'm going back to something that I tried out a little bit earlier this year and keeping a running tab alongside my Pages Red tracker. You'll see what I mean here in a little bit. For some reason here in August, I'm also very concerned about having clean, specific lines. So you'll see I'm using some other washi tape to mark off where I'm filling in colors for both this page and the one that is coming next to it. For those who didn't want to tough it out through a nuclear apocalypse on the surface, there was a company who had your back, and that was Vault Tech. Vault Tech was there to create what seemed to be an underground paradise for those who could afford to survive the end of the world. Only, none of those were really what they seemed. But as part of the Vault Tech Vaults, known by their blue and yellow insignia, they would train their vault dwellers to be well-rounded individuals in seven key skills. And that's how you build out your character, through these special skills. That stands for strength, perception, endurance, charisma, intelligence, agility, and luck. So I decided to use this page to almost feel a little bit like a vault tech flyer or a study guide for students who are about to take their special exams. But instead of answering questions on your special exam or distributing your traits for the best character for the wasteland, I'm using it to log my books for the month.
So I'm doing this a little into the month of August already, and I've already finished my first book. So while I fill in a little bit of information about my books and pages read, I want to just chat a little bit about ghoulification and why my love of the Fallout show makes no sense even to my own brain. For those of you who have chatted with me on lives or have chatted with me in real life, I have one really strong trigger and that is zombies. I cannot do zombies and it's one of the reasons why I probably could never play the Fallout game because of the ghouls. And what happens in quote ghoulification, it is an exposure to radiation that causes the human body to go through a necrotic process. During this process, ghouls will lose their skin and become very scarred. They'll lose their noses, lose their hair, all sorts of not fun things. They aren't dead, but eventually ghouls turn feral, at which point they behave like mindless zombies. I really don't enjoy that. <laughs> and I was really worried before the Fallout show came out that there were going to be a lot of feral ghouls that I was going to need to look away from or I wasn't going to be able to handle. So shout out to Sam from Love Sam because he was able to tell me exactly the moment in the show that I probably wasn't going to be able to handle well and was able to enjoy the entire thing. We do have a main character who is a ghoul and he is my favorite character in this whole show and he has been around since before the bombs drop. So now that we're putting on the last finishing touches, let's get ready to do a flip through of the August spreads. So let's dive in and take a look at the finished spreads. I think the cover page really turned out in the same vein as what my head had envisioned, where we have two interrelated characters who have very different life experiences within the same aesthetic. So both the vault dweller, who is clean and pristine, and the surface dweller, who is really rough around the edges, into a simplified pages read spread that covers both pages read and the time frame that I read books, as well as my books read page. And frankly, that's it. A short and simple setup for the month of August. Thank you so much for sticking through to the end. Let me know down in the comments if you enjoyed the Fallout series and if you would add a spread into my monthly setup. As always, thank you so much for watching. Please consider subscribing and hitting that like button if you enjoyed today's content. And until next time, bye guys. <laughs>